Don O'Malley with Don's Breakfast Cereals Show. Today we're showing The Shadow, Victor Jory. The Shadow originated on the radio, quickly went to pulp magazines, comic books, coloring books, paperbacks, his own cereal, a couple of cheap movies, and then an expensive movie, and even today you can find him in comic books and brand new stories. So we'll be back after this couple chapters. Thanks for tuning in. This is Don O'Malley. Back to the shadow. Car 71, car 71. Go to the Metropolitan Shipyards. Meet an officer who's picked up a prowler. That is all. And looking over this evidence, I find it very much against you. Unless you have something to say in your defense, I'll have to hold you for trial. Who was that man with you? I ain't talking. I ain't saying nothing. What's this? Is it yours? Never seen it before. It was found on him. Hmm. A disc with the head of a black tiger. Where'd you get this? Why, I... I found it. Where'd you find it? 
I don't remember. I remember the tiger's orders. If they book Adams for trial, we move and move fast. We can't let him talk. Good. Police Commissioner Wester will be very interested in this black tiger disc, I'm sure. Perhaps he can help you remember where you got it. Ah. My good man, your record here shows you to be a three-time loser. The district attorney can put you away for life unless you talk. Well, come on. Uh, judge, I ain't gonna take the rap. I'll talk. I'll talk. Don't listen to him, Judge. That guy's life will say anything to protect himself. What do you mean, sir? <laughs> Arrest that man. The shadow. Yes, the shadow. Stand away from that prisoner. <laughs> My things, Vincent. Yes, sir. Trouble? Yes, plenty of it. Drive to the bazaar and hurry. Chang and Mr. Vincent. Hi, Wu. Plenty trouble tonight, sir? Nothing serious. I'm running into some now, I'm thinking. You watch the front, Wu. Yes. You got me worried, boss. If the police ever find out who the shadow is, the fact that you're Lamont Cranston, eminent scientist and good citizen, isn't going to keep them from putting him behind the bars. Vincent, sometimes you worry too much. You're letting your hobby tie a rope around your neck. I know what you do as the shadow, but I don't understand this Lin Chang character. I've gained the confidence of the underworld through him. As a shadow, I make use of that. You'd save me a lot of worry if you'd tell the police you're definitely on their side. Sorry, I can't do that. There's one man on the force I don't trust. Oh, Wu! Wu Young! Take a look at this, Wu. Black tiger's head. Isn't that an oriental design? Yes, it's a copy of an ancient Chinese drawing, Mr. Cranston. Not the superstitions about such animals? Yes. According to our legends, a black tiger was a sign of evil times filled with violence and destruction. Evil, violence, destruction. This black tiger's certainly running true to form. Our job is to find out what's behind this and who's trying to represent himself as the black tiger. And we're going to need all the help we can get. Uh, how can he sleep in here? What are you so nervous about, Russell? Oh, I don't know. Every time I get into the Black Tiger's headquarters, I get jumpy. Well, me too. I wouldn't mind so much if I could only see him. But not being able to, how does he do it? What kind of a life do you suppose he uses? You got me, but I'm not going to try to find out. It's unhealthy to be too curious about anything connected with the Black Tiger. Well, hello, Clint. When did the Black Tiger say he'd get here? Well, how do I know? Till he comes through that private door. Quiet. Places, man. Here he comes now. Come on, Harvey. The boy.
Ladies and men, I know you have been wondering what makes me invisible to you. That is not necessary for you to understand. Even though I am but a beam of light, I can at all times see you. Now, let us proceed. Flint, step forward. Your report? Our plans to free Adams was upset by the shadow. Come to the point. Was Adams left in the hands of the law? Oh, no. He was about to talk, so I had to quiet him. And what happened to the shadow? He got away. But I don't know how, because we both shot at him and... And missed. He won't get away again. Now we will begin the destruction that will build my power. Flint, Russell, Harvey, Roberts. You have your orders. Knock it out! Yes, sir. All right, fellas, you heard him. Give us a clue if they could only talk. Maybe we can make them talk. You know Lamont Cranston, the criminologist? That scientific guy over at the chemical company? Yes, that's the man. He helped us crack the Carter Jewel robbery just by examining the gloves found near the safe. The Black Tiger. I wonder where he figures in this. Or the shadow. The shadow. They're one and the same man, to my way of thinking. Yes. Well, we'll try it. We'll give Cranston the chance to make these overhauls talk. Yes. Why you take such chances? I worry about you constantly till I see you come through that door. Now you be careful, Margo. You know, worry causes wrinkles. Anyhow, it's nice to know my pretty assistant's concerned about me. How do you do, Miss Lane? Hello. Hello, Marshal. I'm not interrupting your work, am I? I should say not. Cranston, I've done it. Your explosive form. Yes. I'm going to give the mining industry the most concentrated and yet the safest explosive ever created. Thanks to your help, Cranston. Here, look at this formula. Your last suggestion did it. Come on in, Weston. Hello, Joe. Marshal, you know Commissioner Weston and Inspector Cardona. Yes, of course. How are you? Well, is this an unofficial visitor or have I gotten into trouble of some kind? On the contrary, we're the ones in trouble. We need your help. These overhauls were picked up through the train wreck last night. Can you tell us anything about the man who wore them? Well, I'll see what I can do. Margot, get an acid bath ready. Yes, sir. I'll fix this up right away for you, Weston. Good girl, Margot. Well, here you are, Weston. Maybe this will help. Here's a description of the man that wore the overalls. Height, five feet, eight inches. Weight 145 pounds. Black hair, left-handed. How can you tell that? Wear and tear in the left-hand pocket compared to that of the right. This man has probably worked on the waterfront. What makes you think that? Saltwater stains. And there were some hemp strands which I found to be oakum. Well, sounds like magic to me. It's merely a scientific fact. Well, thanks a lot, Cranston. And uh, what can you do with this? Let's see it. Where'd you get this? It was found in the pocket of the overhauls. Beautiful workmanship, isn't it? I don't make anything out of a Weston. Looks to me like an ordinary pocket piece. Well, we'll start a search for this character at once. And we'll give our mug gallery the once-over. Right. Thanks again, Cranston. You're very welcome. Anything I can ever do for you. <laughs> <laughs> no! No! Get away! Move! Commissioner, our 
our men are doing their level best. I have men. Commissioner Weston speaking. <laughs> Shut up. The man you are searching for is tied up in room 25 at the Acme Hotel on the waterfront. Hello, hello. Cardona, go to the Acme Hotel, room 25, and pick up the man you'll find there. Yes, sir. See if you can trace that last call. Drive home, Vincent. I should get a call from Weston the first thing in the morning. Well, here I am, Weston, at your service. Well, hello, Cranston. Thanks for coming over. We just picked up a suspect answering that description you gave us. Oh, good. We got him by following up a tip from the shadow. Ever hear of the shadow? Certainly, I read the papers. Strange, they don't seem to know very much about him. No one does. I thought you might know something about him. <laughs> Why should I know anything about the shadow? You shouldn't, but I thought you might. Well, sit down, Cranston. I want you here while we question the suspect. Yes, sir? Send in Cardona with the prisoner. Yes, sir. Do you know who the shadow is? No. <laughs> I wished I did. What about the black tiger? Never heard of him. Why did you send for me? Because we found this card on him. He was trying to ditch it. What's this memorandum? Cranston Lab at 2 o'clock. What does it mean? Answer it. Never heard of it. Where is it? I don't like the looks of this. It's nearly 2 now. I'll have to hurry over there. You go ahead. We'll follow. Take him out and lock him up. No, 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 never mind that. The Cranston, they got my formula. The police are doing everything within their power. Yes, but in the meantime, trains are being wrecked, airlines damaged, communications interfered with. Commissioner Weston, it should be possible to locate the cause and put a stop to it. Well, Certainly. we're trying. Uh, uh, may I say something, please, yes. sir? You see, this situation has deeper roots than you think. For instance, the wrecked trains and airliners were not robbed, although they carried great sums of money and valuables. That's right. true. Right. The entire thing has the appearance of a well-laid, well-organized plan conceived by a mastermind who hopes to gain absolute control of our wealth and resources through destruction. Yes. Have you any idea who this mastermind is? Indeed, I have. Everything points to one man, the Black Tiger. Oh, what is it, Jimmy? Pardon me, Mr. Cranston. This is Mark Important. Oh, who brought it? Motorcycle messenger. He rode away. Oh, thank you, Jimmy. No one but our group was supposed to know of this meeting. Yeah, it's a fact. So what's this thing? Careful, Cranston. That's all right. Let's see what's in it.
And your crusading newspaper is on my list, Frank Milford. As for you, Mr. Kent, this is a definite warning. I am going to strike at your radio chain tonight. Please, please. Now, there's nothing to get excited about. Just sit down just a moment, please. Why, gentlemen, this is simply a recording cylinder. It's very clever, huh? I'd like to examine it. Oh, what do you think of this? This is fantastic. Ghastly. No, no, not ghastly. It's a break. Hello. Oh. Uh, hello, Marco. What are you doing back? Tonight is a television preview. Have you forgotten? <laughs> I'm afraid I have. But you'll have to excuse me, Marco. I've got some very important work to do. Oh, that's perfectly all right. I'm used to the sudden changes in your plans. Good girl. You let me know how it turns out. Busy? As usual, Mr. Wesley. Hello, Cranston. Hello, Weston. Find anything on that cylinder? No, it's the standard type. Gloves were used, so there's no fingerprints. I really believe the Black Tiger means to strike at Kent's radio chain tonight. Oh, yes, but the question is when, where, and how. I've got my men planted near every radio station in the city. But I'm afraid the attack may come at some unexpected point. Oh. Wait a minute, Weston. I've got an idea. That prisoner, Williams. Release him and perhaps he'll lead us to the trail of the Black Tiger. Now, I admit it's a slim chance, but it's the only one. I'll give the order. No, 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 don't, don't, don't do that. You release him yourself. I want to be outside that jail when he comes out. Weston a phony call to have that place ready at once. Then move around to rear and watch the place. Stick them up or I'll blast you. What's the big idea? You know, we might have bumped you off by mistake. Had no time to notify you of my arrival. And bearer of important news. Two policemen invaded my store looking for oh, stolen goods. <laughs> I overhear them talk. I hear them say, this place be raided tonight. Raided, are you sure? Oh, very certain. Having no love for police, I come to warn you. It's the cops. I'll do the tunnel quick.
came in our getting here, you know, the cops were at the house. Why didn't you and give us a tip? I had a boy leg. Oh, thank you. It was very little. Hey, what's the orders? Go to Kent's television exhibit. Take the bulbs with you. Look out! Do you want to blow us to pieces? <laughs> Steady, cat. <laughs> These bulbs are prepared according to Marshall's formula. They won't explode without an electric contact and intense heat. Huh. Well, you don't expect me to walk in with these, do you? Well, listen. Roberts is there dressed as one of the workmen. He'll know what to do with the bulbs. Police make it with me? All of them. You better get moving. Snap into it. Uh-uh. You stay here, Chang. We don't want anyone loose who knows about this job till it's over. Oh, you don't trust me? Guys in my game, we don't trust anyone. Sabi? That's okay. Stick around, Ling. You're tied up with that Oriental Bazaar, ain't you? In the books, I am down as owner. I use it as a listening force. Oh, that's how you were able to tip off Williams to the raid tonight. Yes, I am glad to be able to do favor for my friend. Hey! Oh, now, please! Please! Television exhibit. Hurry. But where's Cranston? He's awfully sorry, but he won't be able to make it. And I wanted him to see it. It's going to work. Good. I'll make a report. Hurry up, Roberts. Yes, sir. Bulbs. Yeah, three of them. Where's the switch in the basement? Yeah, but I've only got the chandelier on the switch. I'm cutting in on the main power line on the floor below. Oh, I'll get to that. Are you in the clear? Sure. This sap can has put me in charge of everything. <laughs> now get going. You two guys stay here. You come with me. Go to the basement, cut the current at the main switch, and then get back to the car and wait for me. Now, you're all my friends, and I know you hope this is going to be a big success. I thought television was only in an experimental stage. Not exactly. We've made a lot of progress. Now, the juice we want feeds through here, independent of the main switch. Yeah? This will step up the count enough to get those nitro bulbs exploding in three minutes. Something must have gone wrong. It won't be a minute. Everyone get out of here! Hurry! Your lives are in danger! 
17, car 17. Go to Kent's television exhibit. A riot. That is all. dooms Margot Lane to death. Trapped in Cranston's laboratory by the Black Tiger's men, Margot tries to defend herself. A dangerous acid explodes. Margot fights for her life in the deadly fumes. She is overpowered. Will Margot escape? This is one of the many breathtaking episodes seen next week in The Shadow Attacks.
Mr. Cranston? Yes, Boo Young. Plenty. They're out there probably. Go and delay them. I'll be right out. Oh, there you are. We chased a car around the block. Did you see where it stopped? Oh, plenty car passed, but no car stopped. They're out there. You better hurry. Stop worrying. Now look here, none of your shenanigans. We're the law. Oh, I, I, I know. You, you law. Hey, where does that door lead you? Oh, oh, oh that door. Uh, she, she private room. Private, eh? Oh, private, eh? Oh, good evening. Hey, who are you? I'm a Lin Chang, proprietor of this bazaar. Something I could do? Well, we were trailing a car and we thought the man might have come in here. Oh, no, having no customer for over one hour. Thank you. Well, we lost it in this neighborhood. Just thought we'd ask. Thanks, just the same. Oh, thanks to you. Vincent, all clear. If they ever suspect that Lin Chang is the much wanted shadow. Too bad the police are always out to capture the shadow. They never stop to reason that he always fights on the side of justice. Why do you take all these great risks? That's part of the job, Wu. Vincent, I've got to get back to the warehouse before the Black Tigers men return. Wu, both eyes open. Why? Pipe down, Joe. Or I'll take means to quiet you. How long I'll be here. So keep the car handy. I'll take the boat. Where's Clark? Clark! Come on, come on. I thought you was coming back last night for those bulbs. I've been tied up all that time. Who tied you up? I don't know. He got me from behind. I didn't get a chance to see him. He got the stink, too. I heard him go down. Maybe he knows. Come on, Chank. Snap out of him, will you? Listen. Did you see who it was? I... Uh, oh, yes. I see him. He wore black hat, down over eye, long black cape. Shadow. That means we gotta get to the garage. We can't stay here. Listen, Chang, you better get going. And listen, don't, don't mention this to anybody, will you? If you do, you're gonna put me on the spot. My only wish is to return to my shop. That's fine. Oh, boy. Get the nitro balls. Hurry up, will you? The Black Tiger will give us orders tonight. The nitro bulbs are gone. Well, they can't be. Maybe you put them someplace else. No, I tell you, I put them right there. That means that the shadow took them. They're going to their hideout to get orders from the Black Tiger. Trail them when they come out. Hey, what are you doing? Wearing masks from now on. Well, what's the big idea? Orders from the Black Tiger. Get them on, let's get out of here.
Tonight, Cranston shall feel the power of the Black Tiger. Flint, two men will go to Cranston's laboratory, where they will find Cranston and his secretary, Margot Lay. See that they never again interfere with my plans. You heard the orders, men. You, you, leave immediately. Report back here after you've accomplished your mission. Now get going. Why did he pick on us? Clint, coming here. What about the Rand matter? I followed your instructions, sir. Very well. That's all. Open that door. Who got you? I don't know. Somebody knocked me out and took my mask. Then he must be in this room. There's a traitor in this room. Take off those masks. You, take off that mask. as quick as you can drive. He got away, sir. Any idea who he was, Flint? No, sir. From now on, no more masks. Yes, sir. In fact, <laughs> I'm surprised at you, Flint. You know you should never get too close. I... I forgot, sir. One mustn't forget the important things, else they be sorry. Get out! Yes, sir. I don't expect him back. Fetch that dad down, sister. You're coming with us. I'm sure their man Taylor is making the nitro bulbs, but I must have positive proof. I'll get it. Say, since you know where the Black Tiger's layout is, 
Why don't you turn it over to the police and let them take him? Well, now, he's too smart for that. His gang will never meet there again. Well, take the mission of the telephone company just called. They have that wire photo of the Black Tiger suspect coming in from Denver. Great. That may be just the very break we need. Let me look at it. Who's been using my dictaphone? Uh, no one, sir. Are you sure? I never leave a record on there. I assure you, sir, no one has touched it since you used it last. Mm. All right. Is there anything else, sir? No, you may go. Close the door. Good night, sir. This is the Black Tiger. This is a warning to you, Joseph Brand. The day you received offers for several of your corporations, you refused. By tomorrow morning, one of them will be worth nothing. Who is it? It's Mr. Rand. What's on your mind, Rand? In some way, the Black Tiger managed to put a record on my dictaphone. Did he say where he was going to strike? No. Only that one of the corporations... I'll get after it. At the proper time, I'll call the police. Sit tight, Rand. What is it? I'll need you, Margot. One of the Rand corporations is threatened. So there's little work for Lin Chang picking up the trail of the Tiger's man. I'll get it. Yes? Hello, Mr. Cranston. I'm at the Apex office now. Yes, Taylor's here, but I got him under control. He tried to give me the runaround about that nitro bulb material, but I caught him at it. Wait a minute, I got something else for you. I worked this guy over a little. The Black Tiger's men are planning to attack the main telephone plant tonight. Good work, Vincent. That's just what I wanted to know. You stay there with the prisoner. I'm going to question him later. Goodbye. Good news? I got a break, Margot. Now I know just what to do. Instead of Lin Chang, this is a job for the shadow. You fix the watchman? He's hogtied and locked in the tomb shed. He won't bother us anymore tonight. Now get this. The Black Tiger will stand for no mistakes on this job. You gotta make it snappy. Those two head cops are in the plant. Black Tiger tricked him down here to see a phony picture from Denver. Lock him in. They're locked. Where's that truck with the gasoline? They ought to be here now. You call the police, Margo. I'll meet you here. Good luck. I've seen a lot of these sound photo pictures in newspapers, but I never knew they came over the telephone like this. Well, what kept you? Well, we had a load. Well, we did our part. Get the tools. Those dicks are safe as canaries. I hear your orders. You gotta head straight for that powder house. And don't miss. It's up to you to get off. I could get off, all right. All right, the rest of you beat it. All ready, Green? Ready!
next. The Black Tiger strikes tonight. The Tiger's men plant gas bombs in the Rand furnace. Death enters the library. Police rush in to hunt the Tiger's men. Rand and the committee try to escape. The deadly gas is ignited. Flames rise up to consume the building. Are all within it doomed? These are only a few of the many thrilling episodes seen next week in The Shadow's Barrow. We did our part. Get the tools. Those dicks are safe as canaries. Here are your orders. You've got to head straight for that powder house. And don't miss. It's up to you to get off. Up to get off, all right. All right, the rest of you beat it. I saw him before. I'd like to look up his record. Let it go! office to pick up Vincent Taylor. What are you going to do with me? You'll find out. Huh? Give me a cigarette, will you? Sure. Now maybe we'll do something with you. Hey, oh, you don't... don't get rough, baby, or you'll liable to get hurt. Now bring him out.
got Vincent. What are you going to do? Follow them, of course. Oh, poor Vincent. Don't worry about him. They wouldn't dare harm him. We'll get a message, you see. and Streeter are bringing Taylor here from the Apex office. I am going to deal with him in a way that will be a lesson to all of you. They're here now. being held at the North Street hideout. Good. I have an idea about him. Oh, hello. Hello, Margo. Any messages? Yes, Commissioner Weston phoned. He said the shadow caused all that trouble at the telephone plant last night. Well, that solves everything. I'll take it. Hello? Make it sound natural or else. Hello, Mr. Cranston. This is Vincent. Yeah, sure, I'm all right. Can you come and pick me up um, at Norton's Crossroads? I'll explain everything when I see you. Oh, uh, um, and will you bring me a clean shirt? I get you. I'll start right away. That was Vincent. He wants me to meet him, and he said to bring a clean shirt. Oh, he's not worrying about laundry at a time like this. Oh, dear, he's warning me that this is a trap. But you're not walking into a trap alone. Not if you'll come with me. Oh, swell, you know I will. <laughs> I bet he falls for it, that sap. <laughs> ah, you ain't going nowhere. I don't see why you didn't call the commissioner and have a police car follow us. We already have a car following us. Uh-uh, no, no, no. You drive straight ahead to the Oriental Bazaar.
Take it fast, Margot. I'll call you later. Quiet, Glenn. Quiet. They're right behind me. Lin Chang! Is the car terrified here with a man and a girl in it? A uh, man and a girl. There has been much traffic. I would not notice one car. All right. I told you we'd lost him at Front Street. Ah, no. I had my eye on him all the well, time. Well, never mind. Let's get back to the hideout. Whoa! Give me the car keys, quick. Black Tiger's next move will be to take care of Rand. We'll be given definite instructions later. Streeter, Williams, bring Vincent in here. Oh, look what I got. Go ahead. Play my hand, will you? Yeah. Every time I get a good hand, something happens. Oh, quit beefing. All right, Vincent. Come out of there and don't start nothing. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Rob! I'll take that prisoner. Get in the room. is unable to join us. What? A previous engagement, I gather. That doesn't sound like Cranston. If he was unable to come, he must have given you some reason. None at all. Do you mean to say that Cranston is withdrawing from this? He didn't say. It has me puzzled, to say the least. Well, that's strange. Yes, yes. Julia. I don't know what to think about Cranston's not joining us. However, I want to know if you can identify a certain suspect's voice, Mr. Rand. Well, I can try. Well, let's get to the phone. You arrange for the extension? All arranged. Richard, what are you doing? The curtains are open, sir, and I thought that... Uh... Oh, I thank you. See that we're not disturbed, please. Yes, sir. Yes. Good man. Yes. Inspector Cadona, is your prisoner there? Yes, I have the prisoner here. Listen closely. I have Mr. Rand on the direct line, and I'm on the extension. I have your prisoner repeat those words I gave you. Read what's on that card. Rand, you're next. The Black Tiger strikes tonight. I'm not sure. Hold him on suspicion anyway, and report to me here at once. Mr. Rand, frankly, I'm disappointed. Another clue gone. Hello. You recognize my voice. 
stop it. I'll call Mr. Rand. This is Weston, police commissioner. Locate that call on Granite 1166 at once. Hello, Mr. Rand speaking. You have until nine o'clock to settle your affairs. And you better tell the others to dismiss Cranston and disband. Or one of them. To locate that call. There's a tap wire. But you, sir, you heard him. You, you all heard him. With police stationed around the house, no one can reach you here. No, I don't know. Say, Mr. Well, I'm, so sure. Sure. I'm afraid. Hey, wait a minute. Where do you think you're going? James and Archer, homicide detail. Commissioner's orders to bring this prisoner to Mr. Rand for identification. Oh, pardon me, just obeying orders. Mission is inside now. Wish they'd tell me something. It's seven minutes to nine. I can't stand it anymore. I can't stand oh, no. it anymore. Where's the cellar? I've just checked up and my men are all around the house. No harm can come to you. Charlie, take the back of the house. We look after the front. sure this stuff won't backfire on us before we get out of here? Well, how can it? Well, you're putting them in the furnace. It takes a flame to ignite it. There's no fire in the furnace. You see, the ventilating fans will take it up through the house. Then let somebody light a match. <laughs> yeah. Didn't you hear what I just said? Inspector. Everything quiet? No one here except James and Archer of the homicide detail with their prisoner. What? What? I've got no James and Archer. You blundering? Did they get in the house? Yes, sir. They had shields. Why doesn't Richard answer that bell? It's all right. I'll answer it. It's probably Cardona. I'll go and see. The rest of you stay here. We'll stay right here. Don't worry. Yeah, you can uh, <laughs> Black Tiger's men are in here. Scatter through the house and search every room.
tiger speaks. Kent, you will die tonight. Surrounded by friends, Kent is murdered. Who is safe from the mad genius of crime? The shadow tracks the tiger to his lair. The room rocks, the walls shake, the building crashes. The shadow is doomed. These are only a few of the many thrilling episodes seen next week in the tiger's lair. I, uh, I... A shadow! Get him, man! Black Tiger's men. Stop for him. Yes, sir. <laughs> the shadow. Yes, the shadow. Where can I take you? Where? Why, uh... You were on that job at the Rand home. Speak up. Look, I was only hired for tonight. Who else was with you? I never saw them before. You were on your way to meet them now. Where? Why? Well, they're going to pick me up at Chapman Park. Chapman Park, quick. One peep out of you will be your last. Here they come. You! Signal them. I 
And don't make any false moves. Right where I wanted him, boys. Then all of a sudden, everything went black. This is the radio I took out of the car. Yes. This is the duplicate that I built. Each tube, each cell, everything's identical. I've got to get busy. Why build a duplicate of their radio? Why not buy one? That's impossible, because they've utilized a mysterious wavelength. Now, I'll put their radio back in their car so that they'll suspect nothing. Then I'll be able to get their calls on my set. Well, that's fine. Well, why are you using the Ling Chang maker? <laughs> I'll explain that, too. Because of Lin Chang, I can safely return their radio. Isn't he their trusted friend? Go, savvy, lady. Hi, <laughs> savvy. Good. What now? Oh, would uh, like to see Mr. Williams, please. He here? Maybe he is. Maybe he ain't. Too bad. He's uh, very important for him. I'll see. Hello, Lynn 
Cheng. What are you doing here? Oh, I was looking for you. What's on your mind? Empty car has been standing in front of my place all morning. Police used my telephone and reported finding black tiger disc in car. So, as friend, come to warn you. Besides, police say worry me. Well, I don't know anything about it, but thanks for telling me anyhow. It's all right. Good deed is never lost. Thank you. The car's been located in front of the Oriental Bazaar. Bring it along and look out for cops. Park close to the bazaar. Hurry! Out of your sight. He's got that garage spotted. Now drive the Cobalt Club. Sorry I'm late, gentlemen. What delayed you? I was detained by a warning from the Black Tiger. What? How did you get the warning? Over the telephone. He said something would happen to me right here. Come in. What is it, Jimmy? We left the slider in the dining room, Mr. Kent. Oh, yes. Thanks. I'm so sorry, gentlemen. I'm terribly unstrung. Cigar lighter? We'll see. Look at that. It's a clever substitute, out of which a poison dart flies when the spring is pressed. Watch. Cranston, oh. phone the coroner. Come on, Cardona. We'll get our men busy. Don't anyone here go near Kent. Green brought the car in, and the radio has not been tampered with. The shadow is too clever to miss a chance like that. He may have found the secret to our weaveling. I'll find out. I'll trap him. Yes, sir. Oh, thank you, Jimmy. Send him in. Yes, sir. Just picked up a message on that radio. Field car number three reported to the Black Tiger and was told to go to the Scar Stand the Mercantile Building. He is to pick up blueprints covering the Black Tiger's next objective and take them to the hideout in the suburbs. Thanks, Vincent.
signal. The shadow took the bait. Now we can go on. All right, take a card. the black tiger. So you dared to cross my path, eh, Shadow? You're credited with being very, very clever. Yet you stumbled headlong into this neat little trap I set for you. Nothing can help you, Shadow. This is your end. Tiger invades the air. Death, silent, invisible, strikes at an airliner. It crashes, it explodes, and cruising the skyways is this marksman of destruction, armed with the tiger's ray gun. Death to all in the sky boasts the black tiger. See his challenge accepted next week in Danger Above.
Let's see what that is. You permitted the shadow to get away again. What have you to say? We followed orders. That man has a charm life. Bah! There's nothing supernatural about him. There must be, the way he got out. Your carelessness is to blame. We had him trapped, and I thought that... I do the thinking for this organization. You and the others are here to carry out my orders. Understand? Yes, sir. Remember that in the future. We will send on an attack against the Safeway Airline. <laughs> Beyond me. The fourth major accident to hit the Safeway Airlines occurred this afternoon. Five members of the crew and 12 passengers were killed. Yes, and until last week, the Safeway Airlines had flown millions of miles without a loss of life. I'm at my wit's end trying to figure out how this black tiger operates. Weston, hasn't your investigation disclosed anything? Practically nothing. And I've had my best men on it, too. Mr. Hill, have you or your company received any threats from the black tiger? No one, like others of our group, have been attacked by the Black Tiger. We've had no warning whatever. Could these crack-ups be caused through negligence on the part of your pilots? Absolutely not. Well, how about mechanical defects in your planes? All our ships are gone over by competent mechanics before every flight. And still they crash. Milford, are you insinuating that I'm responsible for these guys? On the paper, gentlemen, 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 please. Now all this bickering will get us nowhere. Mr. Hill, all of your planes have crashed within a definite area, have they not? Yes. Well, there's only one answer. The Black Tiger. Aren't you forgetting the Shadow, Cranston? I believe the Black Tiger and the Shadow are working hand in hand. They might be the same person. I doubt it very much. Apparently, they're enemies. No, I'm sorry, but I don't agree with you, Cranston. Under the circumstances, Hill, I think your planes should be grounded. What are you trying to do, put me out of business? All right, fly your planes if you want to. But the next edition of my paper will warn the public to stay off your planes. If you do that, you'll wipe out an investment worth millions. Public safety is the first consideration. Good day, gentlemen. Oh, no, I wouldn't oh, do that. No, just no, a no, moment, no, please. No, please. No, 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 well, I don't know. Well, there it is, boss. There you are, Wes.
Where shall I meet you? You won't. I'm flying over the same route used by the planes that crashed to see if I can learn what made them crack up. Hello, Mr. Cranston. Hello, you going up? Yes, alone. Well, she's all tuned up, but I haven't had time to get your camera out. Don't do it. Leave it in there. I'm going to use it. Be on your way, Vincent. Happy landing. Well, how come you're not going up with him? <laughs> I'd rather get. Today. Black Tiger wants you to get the 4 o'clock express. That's the biggest and most valuable ship Safeway has. It's all right with me. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. I want you to take care of this ray gun this time. It's been some job to repair since you banged it around the last trip. Was it me banged it around? I fell through a 400-foot air pocket. Give me that gun. Safeway flies at 10,000 feet around here. Stand by to give him the power at that altitude. on the tail of the shadow. Let me have it. All right, here it comes. What a freight. Well, there they are. The pictures turned out fine. But all this doesn't shed any light on this aviation problem, aside from their mysterious method for stalling my engine. Well, didn't you see where that other plane came from? No, I was taken completely by surprise. I'll say you were. Fine thing. 
You see, I felt the ship lurch. I looked back, and there was the other plane. Then my engine stalled, and before I could do anything about it, my ship went into a dive. Oh, it's a wonder you weren't killed. There must be a hideout for that plane somewhere in these hills. Wait a minute. Vincent, Margot, come here, quick. Here, look at this. You see that runway leading into those trees? Yeah. Well, there's no licensed hangar there. Boss, you got something. We'll soon find out. Hold the fort, Margo. Don't tell anyone where we're going. Right. Come on. He beat me to it. He took all the exposed plates with him. I hate to tell the tiger about this. <laughs> Might as well tell him. He's tied out anyway. Yeah. Maybe he knows about it already. This is the Black Tiger. Who is it? This is Roberts. Clark just crashed the Shadow's plane. It's about time you got him. But... But what? He got away. What? Well, we got his aerial camera, sir. He was photographing the country. Have the films developed and bring the pictures to headquarters immediately. Well, that's just it, sir. The camera was empty. He must have taken the plates with him. Such stupid... Put Sparks on. Sparks, we want you. Sparks reporting. Interlock your death ray panel with your mechanical ray, and when the shadow shows up, take care of him. Yes, sir. Why can't we just fill him full of lead, sir? Sparks will use the ray gun as ordered. Yes, sir. I understand, sir. You're always full of suggestions. Wait. Turn the car around. I may have to get away fast. Who's that? I'll find out. Shadow's outside now. Give me the ray gun. man carrying a ray gun? Yes, he just left in the car. I think he's the one who knows about the mysterious ray. After him.
Western and Cardona, you are going to feel the Black Tiger's claws. The detectives are trapped, doomed by a blinding charge of high voltage. The shadow arrives. He is attacked by the Tiger's men. The shadow fights back with the Tiger's weapon, death charge wires of high voltage. These are only a few of the thrilling episodes you will see next week in The Shadow's Trap.
Back again, this is Don O'Malley with Don's Breakfast Cereal Show. I hope you enjoyed The Shadow so far. There are new stories of The Shadow out there. You'll find them under Doc Savage and the Empire of Doom, as well as Doc Savage, The Sinister Shadow. Both of these written by Will Murray. Excellent books. James Patterson is also writing new shadows that will be out in fall of 2021. So he's not done and gone yet, people. So tune in next time for Don's Breakfast Cereal Show for some more of The Shadow. Good night. Stay safe.